Hi there folks, my name is Overwood24 and welcome back to the three grumpy simmers discussion on tempering one's expectations. So this is part two of our chat and our in-depth discussion slash rant about this topic uh, as we talked so much about it that apparently there was uh, necessary to split it into two episodes. In the first part, we discussed one side of the equation when we discussed the, 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 the customer the, the user side of it, uh, decrying their experience of regarding a product that may that is officially still in beta, and what that means for us as the community. In this part two of our discussion of uh, tempering one's expectations, we are turning that conversation on its head, and we're looking at it from the other side of the conversation, when we've got a developer that's uh, now got plenty of experience in it, and we ask the question, as we as a community, do we have the right to expect more than what we're getting? So here is, welcome back to part two, and here is part two of tempering your expectations step change so so yeah as I said, it was just an interesting sort of side sort of question that that I wanted to ask but that does lead us uh, fairly neatly though into a another instance of, of tempering expectations uh, which I think maybe goes the other way um, with of course release the recent release of the the latest world update for for Microsoft Flight Simulator with uh, O Canada being released. Oh, um, Canada. Thank you. I was I was glad at least one of us could do it. I, I you don't want to hear me sing. So that's a lot all I know. <laughs> I, I think it's it's as much as anybody who is not Canadian actually knows. I'm pretty sure that's it. Anyway, so of course World Update 11 came out. Uh, on the hot on the heels of Sim Update 10, which went surprisingly smoothly. Um, so World Update 11 comes out, you know, Canada. So we've got, you know, we've got five new handcrafted airports, landing challenges, bunch of new city, cities in photogrammetry, and a bunch of new POIs. And they reintroduce, they're reintroducing their discovery flights, which essentially, for people who may not know what the discovery flights are, discovery flights are essentially you get loaded into the sim, aircraft uh, in air, on autopilot, flying a route uh, to explore one of the uh, hero cities or, you know, where they've, they've updated photogrammetry, updated terrain mesh, all that kind of cool stuff. Um, now, given that one of those uh, discovery flights is in Toronto, uh, in Canada and spawns you fairly close to a handcrafted, handcrafted airport in Toronto with, pho- with brand new updated photogrammetry with a bunch of new POIs in there. So, you know, POIs is the handcrafted custom 3D models. Um, to then have your aircraft looking square at a melting photogrammetry CN tower with plants on it I hear (laughs) with the hanging gardens of Babylon suspended from it (laughs) felt like somebody seriously dropped the ball so, so I wanted to sort of turn. So we, we've sort of we, we spent the first part of this video talking about how we, as a consumer base, need to temper our expectations about certain types of software when it comes out. So, conversely, I, we, I wanted to turn that conversation around now for the, for, for this part of the video because Microsoft Flight Simulator is now not new. It doesn't get to have the it, it doesn't have the um, the the get out of jail free card now of saying we're the new kids on the block. We're still finding our feet we're, we're, we're up to year three and uh two two three two. we just celebrated we the, just celebrated a second, second sorry year. right sorry yeah. my apologies yeah so so, so technically we, we're in the third year now yeah, yeah. so we, we, we're over we've we've passed our second birthday we're up to world update 11 so they've got 10 of these behind them where they've got their plenty of experience which and some went well some spectacularly did not um so we we've got experience now and so there's a certain level of community expectation now about what we are going to see what we're going to experience so so my question is to you gentlemen the the idea of something like that of, of loading in a you know doing a cust- coding a custom discovery flight updating all the photogrammetry because they did do updated photogrammetry for the whole of toronto um 
with all the joys and quirks that that brings. But then to do a high definition 3D custom 3D model of a sewage treatment plant in Toronto, but not do the CN Tower. Listen, I'm just going to say this, and then I'm going to leave Canada alone. We have had one world update that updated all of the United States, and it was good. It gave a lot of fresh life to everything. They didn't really do much for the whole Niagara Falls area. Then they had a second world update, which did all of the United States, and they even harped upon the fact that Old Faithful, the guys are in Yellowstone National Park. You could now see it in all its water spraying glory. And yeah, I'm like deliberately doing the jazz hands here because it just boggles my mind we can make water go up we can't make it fall down <laughs> because i flew over niagara falls and actually one of the most viewed flight sim videos that i've done in the last few months and you all know my channel has basically been skyrim with occasional microsoft flight simulator one of the most viewed videos was the one where i basically tore a sobo and microsoft apart for not paying attention to Niagara Falls. And I got that out hot on the heels of the world update that, you know, came out for the U.S. Part 2, the USA Redo. And I was like, I mean, come on, this is the golden opportunity here. You want to do it right. You want to make right with the community. You want to give them something that is iconic. I've been to this place in real life. There are probably a lot of people who are watching this video right now who have been to this place in real life and can attest to just how epic it is to actually stand near freaking Niagara Falls. You're going to get wet. <laughs> you know, you're going to get wet. Doesn't matter how close you are to the falls, at some point in time, you are going to get wet. So we've got the two updates to the US. And you know, I got my little rant video out. All well and good. I know that certain developers in Asobo did see that video because you know, I got the responses on Twitter and so on and so forth. I know you saw it. So now we get to Canada, World Update 11. Guess what? There is no water spray on Niagara Falls. Why? But do you have tire smoke? I don't you buy anything that will warrant <laughs> you, have you just have to choose. <laughs> Seriously, though, seriously, we can have the water spray, you know, like for seaplanes, float planes, whatever you want to call it. We can have things like tire smoke, although, to be honest with you, I don't even pay attention to that. So I'm too, I'm, I'm too busy yet. controlling from the cockpit to notice my tire right. smoke, to, to be honest. Anyway. Right. It's been three updates, though. You're telling me waterfalls are that difficult to do? And actually, to, to throw even more salt in the wound, one of the groups that I am a moderator of, uh, the Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 Virtual Reality Group, I know it's a mouthful, but that's what well, they wanted to name it. So, you know, that's what it is. There was a post on there earlier I'm looking for again, uh, one of our community members posting on behalf of, you know, somebody who's making a scenery. Uh, you know, like this add-on scenery, and they're showing waterfalls in Zimbabwe, I think it is. That's why I'm still looking for the post. I want to make sure that I've got the country uh, correct. Victoria Falls in... Oh, God. Is okay, it yeah. Zimbabwe or is it Tanzania or one of them places? There? I, I'm, I honestly, remember. I'm not mm. very good when it comes to knowing my African countries, but... When you look at this, they've got the water spray, they've got all of the all of that stuff, they've got the 3D rocks and everything in there. It actually looks like a freaking waterfall. So you mean to tell me a third party dev can make this happen and a Sobo within three updates still cannot put something as simple as water spray on Niagara Falls? 
There's a third party update out there for Niagara Falls that adds the lights to it because anyone who's been to Niagara Falls at night know those suckers light up and they change colors. <laughs> so, I mean, talking about tempering expectations, am I wrong in this year? I know it's a stupid thing for me to be concerned with. It's a freaking waterfall, but I mean, shit. I've taken my family there. We've had the best time of our lives in Niagara Falls. It's a, my it's a major point little. of interest, right? It's <laughs> yeah, a major point yeah. of interest. You know, it's, 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 something, it's something that should be there and it should be, you know, well done. I, I, I would rather have that than a sewage plant. <laughs> it, it was, yeah, it, it was, it, it's just the whole, like, it, it, and it's interesting, yeah, because I, I, I wanted to agree with you. It's, it's the whole, because I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't even think to check out Niagara Falls when I was doing my check out of the, of the Canada update and be like, okay, what's changed? It was just, I was just blown away by the fact that the CN Tower was melted with trees hanging off it. And yet I had a sewage treatment plant in high fidelity 3D model. Um, but you, you, you're right. And, the, and this is where the, the, the tempering expectations comes, comes the other way, where, we're, we're, we're two plus years in development. We are three world updates for that for, for that part of the world. There are certain things where we go, and why are they not there? Why, you know, and, and it's, yeah, and as you pointed out, I'd forgotten actually that Old Faithful had actually been modeled. So it meant that the effect exists in the sim. So it's not like they can fall back and say, oh, well, we don't have that effect yet. It's not created it's not part of a library so okay that initially that was 100 percent a valid reason to say it's not yeah, there's no 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 water spray there but we've got seaplanes with with wake effects we've got the water effect uh and the spray effects now from from old faithful so the particle effect system is absolutely there there's in you know in in if you turn dev mode on there are ways for you to mess with with smoke as well smoke effects are now in the sim regularly so particle effects are 100 percent a thing so i think you you're right i think that is a very fair expectation of the community to go hey as you pointed out, Sergio, yeah, and this is a fairly iconic thing there is yeah. a whopping great poi marker over Niagara Falls, why don't we have the anime water spray? I mean, if I remember correctly, FSX had animated water spray at Niagara yep. Falls. That's the part that really, really gets me. Mm. The predecessor because, did. Yes. Yeah. The predecessor did. I have done, what was it, one or two videos from FSX days where I flew, um, I think it was the AW609, sorry to help me out, the tilt rotor, the civilian tilt rotor one. 609, yeah. 609, yeah. Yeah. 609. Yeah. In that area. And yes, you can plainly see there's water spray. You can tell because I go down like 12 FPS. I need that. <laughs> well, maybe not the 12 FPS part, but the water spray. Come on. <laughs> on the other hand. It's like tire smoke. Let me play devil's advocate here, because there, there's 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 that's, also that's something my job. else that that's my job. <laughs> Please continue. Yeah, so <laughs> I'm going I'm going to, I'm going to see your job now. You've now been outsourced to, to, Portugal. To, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Damn digital we're nomads. Mm. We're, we're cheap. We're cheaper. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, here, here's the thing, and I'm I'm not saying that Microsoft shouldn't have done a better job with Niagara Falls. They should. I'm um, I'm not saying that. They shouldn't have done a better job with CN Tower. They should. I'm not talking about anything in specific. Okay, I'm talking about something more generic. Mm. Because on the other hand, can we actually demand anything from Microsoft or Zobo at this time? Let me let me explain what I what I'm trying to say with this. We have paid at least sixty dollars for the sim. Some guys have paid 120 because there was some extra content. So they paid extra for that content. Okay. But let's assume the $60 or whatever is it that you paid because you didn't pay those $120 for anything in the future. You paid $120 for something that you were getting right now. You were getting more aircraft. You were getting more yeah. airports. Okay. When we paid $60 or whatever it was equivalent for 
FSX or when we paid $60 for X-Plane, yeah, of course, we had, at least in X-Plane, we had quite a few updates. Um, but we are two years into Microsoft Flight Simulator. We have a lot more years ahead. We have paid those $60. We are not paying any subscriptions at all, mm. but they are still spewing. They're still throwing out content out there. Can we really, is it right for us to actually demand something from Microsoft and Isobo? Considering that we paid $60 for the product that we got at the time that we got, yes, it had issues. Yes, it had some stuff that needed to be worked on. The sim updates bring new features or finish the features that need to be unfinished. But can we, can we really mm. can we really put a gun to the head out of the developer and say you are not delivering what you should be delivering? I mean, we are already getting so much more for the money that we pay for the same. Am I making sense here? Do you, no, do you see where, abs- where I'm absolutely, going? Absolutely, absolutely. Because because from H- a devil's advocate yeah, standpoint, yeah. yes, and, you are and, totally making and, sense. And the funny thing is, is that actually I I tend to actually agree with you, Sergio, because each of those world updates is actually the equivalent of around about a hundred bucks. And and, yeah. and follow me through on this one for everybody at home. You get at least four handcrafted airports with every world update. Average market price for that at the moment is going to be around about twenty dollars. So let's just ease of math. Let's say twenty bucks. So there's four of those. So there's eighty bucks straight away, right? Straight away. On top of that, you then get. Um, uh, you'll get a couple of, you know, you get three, you usually get three landing challenges. You get uh, a bush trip and a couple of discovery flights. Discovery flights, I'll take or leave, but um, let's just focus on the, the the landing challenges and the discovery flight. So discovery flight would generally be around about two to three hours worth of explorations with details about the flight and where you're going, the POIs and all that kind of fun stuff. Um then there'll be your landing challenges, which are, you know, whether they take you five minutes or five hours to, to, to master, it's still a, a unique thing. And based off SoFly's pack, which if I remember correctly, was $20, $20 for 20 landing challenges, if I remember correctly, around about that. No, I, I don't remember. So whatever it is. But yeah, so let's, I have no clue. So let's, let's just assume that that pack together of your bush trip. Now, I know the bush trips are usually around about, um, twenty dollars for three bush trips. So that's so let's say you know eight dollars a bush trip ballpark figure. So between that, you've you've got a hundred dollars worth of value. Plus, you get all the POIs up there, whether they're the ones you want or not. That's beside the point. So you guys, as you've said, it's beside the point. But you know, we've got a bunch of custom models that have come in. You get a bunch of you know, you get train mesh updates. You get um, satellite imagery updates everywhere. Uh, so you're getting easily $100 worth of value every three to six months for no cost. So, so Sergio, in, in one way, I 100% agree with you because can we really sort of have a go at, at, at a solo Microsoft? And, and that's, where, that's, where I wanted to, that's where I wanted to talk about this one for, to, for tempering expectations is, yes, am I disappointed that the CN Tower didn't get modeled and a sewage treatment plant did? Um, I am as well. Okay, I'm not but, saying this but, because but, I'm okay but, with these things. Yeah, but it's the it's the Just, right. Though. Yeah. But how do we? But how do we counter that? How do we? How do we both show our appreciation of the fact that we're not having to pay, you know, fifteen dollars a month, thirty dollars a month, insert X amount of whatever subscription fees are for every other game that's getting getting continually updated with content, not just bug fixes. I'm, and I want to stress that here, folks, is that. You get bug fixes are absolutely, they're pre-included. Going back to the X-Plane example before, you pay once for X-Plane and you get all the bug fixes and iterations of that over its lifetime for that block number. But you don't get new, you don't get new content. It's bug fixes. Any game where you get, not any game, because there are a couple of others, but the vast majority of games are, uh, or software out there, for, let's be honest, it's not just games, any software. If you want new features, you're paying for it, whether you pay per feature or whether you pay a monthly, six-monthly annual subscription fee. Um, if you want, you know, the bug fixes come with it, but the the feature and content improvements, you have to pay for. 
MSFS yeah. is really the bucking only that thing that we need to expect from them is the bug fixes. The only thing that they really owe to us at the end of the day yes. is a stable platform to fly on. That's really it. Mm. They could do without all of the world updates or anything else. They could just leave that entire segment to the community, mm -hmm. which largely they have done, if you really think about it. Because a lot of the yeah. stuff that uh, third parties are coming out with, in particular relating to scenery, is miles ahead from you know what you could even get from a Sobo and you know Microsoft. But if they stuck to just providing you know like the bug fixes and so on and so forth, that's really the only thing that we can ask mm -hmm. from them. Mm -hmm. And I gotta say, as far as that's concerned, they are delivering. They and they are delivering. Go fly some update ten. You know, it, yeah. It flies a hell of a lot better, both in VR and out of VR, than yep. its predecessors. Yep. And and it, it's it's that fine line, and and it and it and it's good that you brought that up, Sergio, because yeah, it is it is something challenging. It's it's a it's a difficult line to walk with tempering expectations. This one because we do have because because yeah, quite frankly, I I expected better out of the uh, out of the Canada update, but at the same time, I I, I temper that on myself within myself of going I'm not I didn't pay for this update. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I I very true. Yeah, and, and am I am I am I disgruntled that I I I have a melty CN tower and uh and and a bit of a high definition sewage treatment plant? Yeah, a little. But also it didn't cost me anything. So did I and lose it's out? optional. Yes. And it's optional, not mandatory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah, that's a it, it, that's, sorry. It, it, it's 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 also it's also a fantastic platform for other developers to build on build on top of it. You know, it, it doesn't prevent any third party developer from making a CN tower. Mm. It doesn't prevent any third party developers from making the actual Niagara Falls. Right, you already have everything else. It's just a matter of okay, let's let's complete these POIs, which is exactly that is exactly what has been done for so many years on FSX, P3D, X Plane, or any other sim. Mm. We have developers doing these POIs. Azobo is and Microsoft are throwing a bunch of POIs and improvements to the scenery. And we can have other developers, even smaller developers. We don't need guys doing whole cities. We just we just need a few guys to do a, few, uh, a couple of POIs, you know, that, that are missing. I would like to have. Let's be honest. I would like to see the CN Tower there as one of the Azobo's default POIs. It would make sense. I find it very weird. I really find it weird. It's odd. It's really odd. It's something like, in my in my opinion, I think someone screwed up the the build package or something like that. Someone yeah. forgot to add the model. I, it it has to be something like that. I, I'm. It's got to be. I am 100. Like yeah. it's. It's. I, I would agree with you. Like I, I tend to agree with you. Going. How did you miss this? Like how? Yeah. I. Someone forgot to put something inside the zip. <laughs> like if they've hot fixed it, comment below. We'll see it, and you know, I'll yeah. gladly admit if I'm wrong, if something's yep. there, but it's just not there at the time yeah. of us recording. It. It reminded me May a bit of the. It reminded me a bit of the the CN Tower reminds me a bit of the fiasco of of the initial launch of the fact that um, we had the Sydney Harbour Bridge and that was the big sort of look Australia got covered and you turn and there's no bridge. Yeah, <laughs> I thought you were going to get into the you could fly over your own house thing. Not quite. Which for about half the world was incorrect. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hey, they got my house right. They got the roof color wrong, but I they got my house mine. right. Yep. They, they, they got my house right. <laughs> roof color wrong, but they got the house right. Sorry, Sergio. Yes. Yeah. No, I was saying that um, I already have a theory about the Niagara Falls. I think that the whole team is really rolling really high at very high speed. Mm. And part of me wants to believe or believes that there is an update. There is something within their uh, their source, their their, their their files that actually has a, a better Niagara Falls that for some reason they they, they, just, they just couldn't finish on time. Mm. 
because they need they need to finish this they need to test this they need to package this they need to get this ready out there for release mm. uh, i have a theory that there is niagara falls is coming it's probably underway they they just didn't have the time to finish it that's just a theory that's just me guessing um the I think only we'll acceptable excuse <laughs> <laughs> is they want to make sure that I do not get 12 FPS flying <laughs> over it in VR. You probably saw your video. You are the one to win. <laughs> So you and your it, and your potato computer. You and your potato. <laughs> but you know, and it's it is funny. It's one of the blessings and the curses. And and actually, more I think about it, I think maybe you might be onto something there, Sergio. Because I think, and again, this is where where we as a community have to sort of you know acknowledge our expectations, mm-hmm. have expectations, but also understand the world that that developers live in, or at least try and attempt to. Is that I, I think given that we are in that all you know. All software companies are going to this agile spiral development process, and and now that you mentioned it, I, I think maybe you're onto some, onto something, Sergio. That I think maybe that of that spiral arm, they just went, you know what, we can't get this out the door for testing in time, so it went, okay, well, it's getting trimmed from the release, and and I think that, and that's something that we do have to that we do have to say that that, that the software Microsoft definitely listened to with us uh, with the community where they you know we we said this is something where we say is not acceptable is that they need to improve their testing um, of their yeah. content prior to it hitting RPCs mm-hmm. and, and, and Xboxes. Uh, where the, So now we see like Sim Update 10 was postponed three times, I think. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, three, we, three or we four were times. in beta for what, two months, two, almost three months? It was three months. The beta for a Sim Update 10. So That is a prime example. And right of there. course, everyone complained because it was delayed. And and this is right. the, and and that's and that is <laughs> that so right there. Oh God! Maverick, but you know what? It is movie of the year. So it's a, that was a great segue into something that I wanted to round out on this one. We're, we're not going to cover the other thing that I was. Gonna, I think that's actually this is more important to actually to to, to wrap up on is is that what Sergio just said there? Okay. Mm. Now I'm cranky. <laughs> so. <laughs> Our job here is finished. <laughs> so the, the 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 one thing, oh god, that I keep seeing, and I will, I'm certain my two fellow grumpies will back me up on this, is that for the love of all things holy, stop asking why is this? Why is insert X not out yet? Why are they in? You know, why are insert developers' name dragging their feet? Why isn't X out yet? I demand X be released right now. And then the very the entire same, community. The very <laughs> same person then immediately after release then goes, It broke my sim. This is crap. I need a refund. This is they ripped they, me they, off they, Yes, they ripped me <laughs> off like <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Mm. Upset. <laughs> yeah. It's just so. This is part of tempering expectations, folks. It really is. Like, okay, <laughs> have patience. I know it's hard. I know you're used to things being given, like, served to you immediately in this modern world. I like convenience too, but. I really appreciated the fact that this my sim update 10 and, and let's use sim update 10 as, as a present prime example. Sim update 10 came out. Now I have had varying levels of issues, usually fairly minimal, but I've had varying issue, levels of issues with every sim update that's come out for, for, for MSFS. And and I literally, literally done two guides on how to minimize your effort uh, and minimize your chances of having things go wrong with a sim update right um because it's a bit of a nightmare and it's a bit of a roll of the dice and it's a bit of a gamble um but sim update 10 no issues i actually literally forgot there was a sim update happening so i didn't do all my precautionary checklist of like 20 items that i do before a sim update to make sure that my sim doesn't go sideways and yet, it just worked. 
three months. Like that's the that's the benefit of having it delayed. It was delayed three months. Okay, so what? You know what? You know what the so what of that delay of three months was? Smoother, more even, better experience for. I won't say everybody, but the vast majority of users. And I, I think, would you two agree as well that the Sim Update 10 was the smoothest update that we've ever had for this Sim? Can confirm. Yep. I had zero What's issues. In fact, I did not even do the usual thing that I preached about the community folder. Yep. I, everything it, was, just was, worked. Like Todd Howard says, everything just worked. Was it three months delay? Was it that much? It was, two. it was at least two. It was at it least, was at least okay. two because it was supposed yeah, okay. to come out. When was it? July? Okay. Uh, yeah. Or, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because it was supposed to come out on the heels of uh, World Update Nine. Yep. And, and even in or regards World. with what you're saying, and even in regards with what you are saying, uh, Tristan, there with the with the fact that it was a smooth release. Uh, I don't remember if I if I already mentioned this on an earlier episode. I have mentioned this on other videos and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I don't know if I remember if I if I if I mentioned here it in the three group simmers. Even when things don't go as smoothly, we're talking about what 100 guys complaining, if that much. Mm. Overall, you know, you go mm. to forums and social media and you see how many guys complaining. 50, 60, 70, 100. That's that's making 100. Yeah. That's 100 out of 5 million users. They release something and 100, 100 guys have issues. Even if it was 1,000, let's go crazy. 10,000. 10,000 guys with issues. That's what, 0.0005%? Exactly. I didn't come no, here to math. I'm not going to figure it out. <laughs> even, Too early to even, math. You know, even those not so smooth uh, releases mm. are really smooth. Yep. So Microsoft and Zobo are doing a good job. Even if you yep. think it, it, they are not because you are having issues, you are one out of 5 million guys, you know? But yeah, but you were right. This release was delayed. They tested it. They fixed everything that was broken. We saw less and less and less and less people complaining about yep. any issues. Yep. And that's, that's the price you pay for a good release. You have to wait. And and that's where I really want to really want to get everybody to temper your expectations. I'm really just asking everybody to please temper your expectations when a new product is being released. Whether that product is a new sim, whether it's an update to an existing sim, whether it's a new aeroplane, a new piece of scenery, a new tool set, whatever. Do not demand that something gets released and then complain about it being released in an unfinished state. If we give our feedback and say, hey, we would like to see it, cool. But if a developer turns around and says, yeah, we'd like to release it too now, but it's not ready, then go, okay, cool. It's not ready. Have patience. It's not going to kill you to wait a month for your new scene scenery. I promise you it will Well, I guess, I'll, I guess I'll go ahead and delete that uh, hate mail that I was going <laughs> to send to ED for not getting my Vietnam map yet when they've announced all these other third-party projects going on that involve yeah. Vietnam-era aircraft. <laughs> Eagle Dynamics, listen to Drew. The man is... Does, I, please give him Vietnam map. I, okay. I, I cannot hear him anymore. <laughs> okay, you know, you know, you know, you know I, he, I goes, was, he goes on the chat every single day. You know, good morning. Where's my Vietnam? Where's map? my Vietnam you know, map? You weren't there. <laughs> you don't know, man. So, so I think this has been a this has been a really good a, a chat about temporary expectations. It, it sits on both sides of the fence. Is it, what we're trying to say, folks, is that at least what I'm trying to say is that I'm trying to say is that it. it for me, it sits temporary expectations sits on both sides of the fence. Is that we have to yeah. be understanding of of developers and their positions. We also have to acknowledge that they're going to get it wrong. Um, and absolutely, we have a we we do have a, a we do have we do have a, a, I don't want to say right because we don't, but we 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 do have a a, a 
a, uh, a, a position where we can expect a certain level from a developer. But at the same time, we have to temper that and go, okay, what are the other things surrounding that? Um, you know, would we like to see things better? You know, would we like to see CN Tower, for example? Yes, we would. However, flip side of that is we're also getting a hundred bucks worth of value every few months for free. So yeah. fine. You, know, you need to understand. Yeah. Mm, I think yeah. you need, first of all, you need to understand what is it that you are complaining about? Yes. What, what, what's, what's the product uh, in what stage the product is going mm. back to explain early access, not even quite a beta, some yep. features in there that are lacking. So think about it. Okay. Am I, am I going to complain because it's unstable or is it unstable by nature because it's an unfinished product? That, yes. That's something, that's the first thing that you need to do. You need, you need to put it in context, put it in context breath and just, you know, in your mind, go through this process. Okay. At, at which stage is this product in? Mm. And, you know, and then take action. Don't just, you know, oh, it's broken and go to the social media stars complaining about it because it, it's not going to do anyone any favors. That, that's, a, that's, and that's a big thing. And, and be part of, be part of the solution is, is what I, what, what I think we're all trying to say yeah. here is be part of the solution. Um, if there is something wrong, if something needs to be, um, if something needs to be fixed, if you believe vehemently that, you know, you've, you've done, as Sergio said, you've thought about it and, you know, put it in context of where is this software in terms of its life cycle and its development, where does it sit? And still go, this is something that needs to change. This is not acceptable. Okay, put it in the, um, put it in the right actual sort of direction to go, okay, what is... You know, what is the the place this needs to go? Where does this need to go? How do I need to work with these people to resolve the to these developers to resolve this? P- don't just go to social media because that's not going to help anybody. Because yeah. it needs to go to things like you know, go to the actual development, go to the the official official forums, not the official fan book page, fans fan pages, the official pages. <laughs> go to lodge the support tickets to actually say, you know, this is you know what this is an issue and has to be fixed. That's yeah. my last. That's my last little thing on that one. Yeah, I'll back that up. 100%. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. I would like to take the, to take the opportunity to ask something to the guys that are watching this video, because I and I I, I believe you guys both of you agree with this. Mm. Um, I feel like the people that should be watching these videos are the ones that are not watching these videos. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 The people and that no. watch these videos, like, yeah, very often, and we see that from the comments, the people that watch these videos are folks that, um, we don't want this just to be an echo, an echo chamber. The three grumpy simmers is not an echo chamber. We don't, we don't want people to watch this just because, just Brother because Sergio they agree with us. Yeah. having a moment. <laughs> <laughs> we, 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 we want that to Oh man, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> the, the 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 helicopter really gospel, good. right? The the the, go, the, I, gos, the gospel of Chinook Part One. I managed to trigger Tristan. I managed to get um, <laughs> Drew to sing. My work here is done. I can go to bed now. <laughs> yeah. Um, but but seriously, what we have been noticing is that the guys that watch these videos are guys that probably have the same line of thought that we do. But we would like to reach out the guys that don't, you know, to try and 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 help them better understand the community and how everything works so please do help us share this content with other people out there so that we can have a conversation not just people saying that they agree with us um we would also like to hear about people that disagree with us and why because that will help us also to have the, a better perspective of the community, see other points of view, and perhaps even address those concerns or those ideas or those points, those points of views on other videos. This is not just a video for us. This is a video for everyone. That's that's the reason why we are doing this. So please do help us share because we want to have more people on board, not just guys that agree with us. We want to have the guys that disagree with us as well. Yes. Tristan wants to be grumpy at people. I, I enjoy being grumpy at people, but but that's a that's a really good that's a that's a great that, that Sergio really always picks up the great ideas for this that one because it. Yeah. it encapsulates it encapsulates just as a, a moment here like it encapsulates why we do this like this is this is, there's a reason why this is a 
podcast talk show because it is about having a conversation. Um, I know that uh, we, we've and we've definitely had in the past where viewers have definitely not agreed with many of the things that we've said, but that's okay because that's part of having a conversation. We've all we've all been round the round the block for a while for a, for a, for a several times, um, and we want to be able to have these conversations, and we want to be able to share ideas, and we want to hear your ideas as well because it helps us shape our views as well. And where we go, okay, and because it it, gives, it exposes us to points of view that we may not have considered. Um, so yes, I yes, thank you very much, Sergio, for encapsulating what we are all about here. Thank you very much. Obviously, obviously, I'm safe from the wrath of the heli- helicopter mafia for a while. So, uh, for at least a couple of days, yes. For a couple of days, excellent. So, any other <laughs> any other pearls of wisdom and closing thoughts from you, Sergio, other than that one? Uh, not really. I think we said it all. Uh, there's not much to say. You know, just like you said, you said it better than I did. Put it, put everything in context. Make sure you know what you're talking about and thinking about and experiencing. And go from there. And if you have any questions, any doubts, or anything that you might want to see clarified, you know where to find us. You have our websites. Our we are on several Facebook groups as well. Just you know, say hi and ask your questions, and we will try to help you as much as we can, of course. But just just be clear that when the software is not finished, the software is not finished. <laughs> Treat it as it is. Still That's pretty much it. Hashtag facts. And for you, yep. uh, for you, Tom Cat aficionado. The best way that I can think to say it is at the end of the day, remember what this is all for. It's for fun. Whether you choose to agree with it or like it or not, it is still at the end of the day. Fun. You wouldn't be doing it if you didn't derive some kind of joy, which in a way makes it a game. Is that study level Last, fun you're talking about? Study level fun, yeah. Last <laughs> Christmas, I got this cert as a gift from my dad, and I want you all to see it. Hopefully it's not backwards on your screen, but I'll read it anyway. It says, a day without video games is like... Just kidding. I have no idea. <laughs> yep. There's my closing thought for you. Yeah. Even Remember you a, why you sim. Yes. Even if you are a serious simmer. <laughs> if you're not getting fun out of it, you really should not be doing it. And um, yeah. just between you, me, and all the however many eyes are watching this, that is one of the primary reasons why you've been seeing every single Sunday on my channel, Skyrim VR, mm-hmm. and then Mondays are my flight sim days. This is why you've been seeing it, because I can't do the simming thing like I used to. It's becoming too much freaking work. I need to remember the fun aspect of it. That's why you've been seeing mm-hmm. a lot more chill videos on my it's channel. Why, it's why I live stream. It's why I stream on yeah. Twitch. It's because I realized that it was simming was becoming a, a work, whereas this is mm-hmm. a passion for me. This is something that I love doing. I love talking about it. I love goofing off in it. And I just love experience and exploring the world. And it was becoming too much like work. And it's like, I need to set aside some time to just kick back and have fun. So that's why I stream yeah. on Twitch. I, I, I stream my, my regular flights on, on Twitch because I that gives me an excuse where... I can't review something. I can't be writing a news story. I can't be writing a how-to or recording a how-to video. I'm just there to just have fun and fly with people. And that is literally the reason why I got out of the music industry after 26 years playing bass, guitar, singing for audiences, whatever. It stopped being fun and started being a chore. I would like to propose propose something, guys. Mm -hmm. I would Mm -hmm. like to propose something. I would like to do an episode in which each of us will tell their story about creating content for the community. Because I know we have stories. I know we have <laughs> struggles. And I know a lot of people don't understand how hard it is to do what, what we do and why we do it the way that we do instead mm. of the way other people do. I, I think that I like would be that. a good, I think that would be a it, good the, episode. The, the why we do it. Do we, do we also get to have a, a, an episode where we tell about the war stories of some of the things that we see? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, why not? Why not? The videos that no longer exist because what the hell were we thinking at the time? <laughs> some of some of the, the interesting Your comments learning. that people Yeah, that's right. Hey, I still yeah. have my first YouTube video is still up. It is still up on my channel. You can Mine still did. go and see it. It was at, I look back at it now and go, oh God, what was I thinking? Um <laughs> That's a great idea, Sergio. I like that one. Anyway, so with that, folks, that does now round out a, another extra bonus episode uh, or bonus bonus sized uh, episode of the Three Grumpy Simmers. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much to Sergio, the Don of the Helicopter Mafia, who is uh, fortunately uh, <laughs> wearing some my merch yeah, tonight. Yes, yeah. yes. So uh, don't some forget. Swag. Don't don't forget that you can get cool swag for helisimmer.com. Uh so you can get uh, swag for helisimmer.com and you can get some cool swag for me from me as well. Links will be in the description down below. Uh yeah, so thank I you very much no to the, the Don the Don no Hel- swag. We need to we need to do something about that, Sergio. We need to we need to help him get us some swag. We need I would love to have a shirt with the hat logo. We, I would love to get I, a shirt with a purple hat. Logo. I haven't I haven't I, I have an idea of a Skyrim image with a purple hat i think that would be awesome oh no, as well. oh no. you are not going to no you are not going to, no no no, 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 you no, know no. all i ask no. make sure it's family friendly because anyone who's seen any of the thumbnails that i put up know there are two things that get me views on those videos <laughs> two things one of each type you can figure it out <laughs> i i think God, I, I write this anyway. Imagine. So don't forget, you folks. Know, it's, it's going to be very hard to delete the image of Drew with a T-shirt. With oh, I, I'm looking at the thumbnail that Drew sent me, sent us earlier. You know, I you know where I'm going with that. I'll send you the um, the non-title of that film. If you want to put that up right now, that's fine. Yep. I'll send you the one that doesn't have the title in there because that actually is going to be one just, of the titles. Just make it one frame. You know, just See, the problem, yeah. is, the problem is or everybody who's watching and listening to this is going, what the hell are they talking about? And unfortunately, yeah. for for, uh, for, for, um, for 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 ratings reasons, you will not be able to see it, unfortunately. Anyway, moving on. Uh, so thank you. So don't forget to also like and subscribe over to helisimmer.com for and the Helisimmer's YouTube channel for all your latest updates and everything frantic palm tree. And don't forget to head over to, thanks to very much to uh, Drew Belgeode uh, for joining us and don't forget to head to his channel for some amazing flights and videos and some awesome storytelling telling as I think one of the greatest storytellers on YouTube. So don't forget to head over there, give a like and subscribe. And yep. of course, seeing Aww. that you're here <laughs> watching this, maybe considering giving me a like and subscribe and a bit of a support here and if you do like our diatribe on a semi-regular basis don't forget that this is also available on uh, podbean and on your favorite podcast uh site or uh, or app or if you are already listening to us on the podcast then you can also find and watch our ugly mugs on youtube as well uh and if you'd like to support the uh efforts and everything goes into what into uh, making these three Grumpy Simmer videos, uh, please consider supporting us uh, over on our Patreon. Uh, details are in the description down below. All right, folks. Well, thanks very much for joining us for another episode of the Three Grumpy Simmers. We look forward to gracing your screens and your ears with more grumpiness in the future. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Safe skies to all. Be amazing humans. And we will see you on the next episode. Bye for now. Bye-bye.